welcome to the lesson of the week with yours truly, Sean Thunder Wallace. I'm a performer, composer, and professor of music at The Ohio State University. This weekly program is designed to inspire and inform the serious music student. We're all students here, so join me on the path of discovery as we learn together. Sometimes I just get overwhelmed with the amount of things that, that there are to do, and then on top of that, the amount of things that I'm like trying to sort out on my own. And that, I mean, uh, I guess that's where I, the organization gets thrown out the window, because there's just too many things going on at the same time. So. Well, well, what you have to do is you have to, you keep writing your lists, you keep you keep track of, you You know, you think of something, you put it on a to-do list or whatever, and it might be a long time before you can get to everything on that list. I mean, you're not, you can't get to everything right now, and that's like that whole uh, uh, putting things on the back burner. Putting stuff on the back burner uh, in this sense doesn't necessarily mean that you've forgotten about it or that it's never going to get done. Putting it on the back burner just means that it can't be in the front. I mean, you have to have stuff that's in the front. And in order for that stuff to get the proper attention, it's got to be in front for a long enough time for you to really give it the kind of love that it, that it needs. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you, know, I, you know, I talk to cats all the time, but I say this all the time, there's no replacement for re repetition. There's no replacement. It doesn't matter how easily stuff comes or how certain things you're able to just grab onto a bunch of stuff. And this is something that plagues um, like talented, like really talented people, is what happens is they can jump past certain steps so that it ends up with a bunch of holes. And then sometimes they'll deal with something, but they only deal with it for such a short period of time that it never really sinks in and really gets you know inside. Uh, and uh, so I just want to make sure that that's, that's not happening. I would say, um, and you can find a way to, to organize, you can, or you can find a way to get pretty much something that you're trying to work on in every practice session, really, and, and really, I mean, you can find a way to do that, even within this. But like the way that those, the way that the practice log is, it's like there's a place for it like two five ones and patterns and rudiments and giant step substitutions and like that there's a place for uh, rudiments all kinds of different rudiments just be specific just say okay um, I, I, you know I don't want to I don't want to control everything you're, you're doing I'm no, not trying no, that's to fine. put the locks on you know and another thing that I'm noticing too is like I, I'm I'm pretty systematic about working on uh, different things outside of tunes like right. I think the weakness I have is like applying all these things to support progression. Okay, okay, all right, and that's and that's great. So, um, if you can each each time have three or four exercises that you just run through on every time. Okay, now it doesn't have to be the same exercises. So that's gonna be boring. Yeah. Okay, but if you can have three or four exercises, you say, okay, this one I'm going to do a diatonic transposition with force. Okay, this one I'm going to do, um, all right, this one there's a bunch of chord scales I'm kind of skating on. Let me, let me make sure I can put some chord scales. Or this one, let me, let me walk the bass line on this one because there's a lot of uh, angular motion and the changes or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, this one, this one uh, there's a lot of sidestepping with the chord, where the chord changes half step relationships and things. So let me make sure I can really play the thirds and sevens. Let me go through and play the thirds and sevens. And just keep yeah. real specific track of what you've actually done. Now what should happen is the more that you practice any particular thing, the faster you'll be able to do it on whatever else. So it's not like we're talking about something that's going to end up taking, you know, 30 minutes or something. I mean, you ought to be doing probably a minute, you know, or less, you know, on, on, on any given particular thing. Or take the diatonic transposition number two and work it and work it through the chord changes, right. or take a particular pattern and play it everywhere on the chord changes. A particular shape, play it all over the chord changes. Uh, you know. Yeah, yeah. So